fueled and almost ready to go, the final assembly of the Bepi Colombo mission to Mercury. A collaboration between ESA and the Japanese space agency JAXA, Bepi Colombo consists of two scientific orbiters, a transfer module to propel them to Mercury and a sun shield. Protected by hand-stitched ceramic thermal blankets, the entire spacecraft is six and a half metres high and will only just fit inside the fairing of its Ariane 5 launcher. Designed to withstand temperatures of up to 450 degrees Celsius, Bepi Colombo is one of the most technically and scientifically complex missions ever launched. 80% of our material needs to requalify for this mission because we hadn't tested before in that harsh environment. So it's, it's a real challenge to go there and to bring two spacecraft in an orbit around Mercury. The first challenge is getting to Mercury. Flying directly isn't an option. The sun's gravity means any spacecraft would be going too fast to make it into orbit. Instead, Bepi Colombo will take seven years to reach its destination, combining solar electric propulsion with a total of nine flybys of Earth, Venus and Mercury. When we fly, we constantly break against the sun because we fly into the inner side of our solar system. Yeah, and when you fly towards the most heaviest element there, you constantly accelerate. We don't want that. This is why we decelerate. Once they arrive at Mercury in late 2025, the orbiters will separate from the transfer module to begin their comprehensive scientific mission in 2026. With its 11 instruments, ESA's Mercury Planetary Orbiter will study the surface and internal composition of the planet. Meanwhile, JAXA's Mercury Magnetospheric Orbiter's five instruments will study the planet's magnetic field. Together, the orbiters will not only reveal more about Mercury, but also the history of the inner solar system. Because Mercury is not tilted like Earth, it's uh, spinning almost in the orbital plane, therefore there are some craters on the poles which never see sunlight. And in these craters we found water ice, and this water ice could be stable over millions and billions of years, and then that's a fantastic thing also about Mercury. ESA science and engineering teams have been working on Bepi Colombo for more than a decade. With a long journey ahead of it, the launch marks only the beginning of the next stage of Bepi Colombo's voyage of discovery. <laughs>